Today we're going to have a look at three different plugins, and these are not your typical bread and butter plugins. These are meant to mangle your sound to a point where even its own mother wouldn't recognize its face. One of them is completely free of charge, one of them is paid, and another one can be whatever you want, and I'll come back to that in a minute. All right, let's dive in. We're going to start with a plugin called Morph 2 by Synaptic Audio, and their explanation on the website sounds a bit abstract, but don't worry, it will all make sense once we're using it. Uh, let's first see what their website tells us about it. Morph 2 is a real-time plugin for structural audio morphing, the sonic equivalent of one object slowly changing its shape to become a different object. Supercharged with a selection of five different morphing algorithms, a stunningly clean form and shifter, as well as a lush reverb. Create new hybrid sounds that combine aspects of existing ones, and this is what we're going to do today, by the way as well as physically impossible instruments, creature and robot voices. Okay, so what is Morph 2? I've created a group here and the plugin is listening via the sidechain option to another track in that group. It's called Break and it's muted for now. Let's have a listen to what the breakbeat sample sounds like. Sample number one. and sample number two. So we're gonna mute this again and listen to the loops I have on the actual track where the plugin is located. These are just simple textures, atmospheres, pads. So let's open the plugin and keep in mind Morph 2 is listening via sidechain to the breakbeat track. So when I move this slider here, it's going to morph from one track to the other. And there's a whole spectrum of sounds in between we can reach in this XY field here. So let's start with the first atmosphere. And the further we're coming up to B, we're hearing our original drum loop. There's also a very nice reverb built in. And this format filter here, you, know, you can play around with this and get all kinds of different timbres. Let's have a listen to the other breakbeat loop. And also let's engage some drums for context. There are also some different algorithms you can use, and this tight one is something I use all the time. So as you can see, this is a very powerful tool and it can breathe new life in uh, your existing sample library of atmospheres, textures, pads, and whatever, just by feeding it different rhythmic material. It doesn't have to be a breakbeat, by the way. You can also use different drum loops, hired loops, whatever. The next plugin in our list for today is called Dumpster Fire, and I'm not even going to try to explain it, uh, because the developer made sure to tell us absolutely nothing useful about it. Uh, if I had to guess, I would say 
this is based on some kind of FFT manipulation in the background, but who knows? By the way, the website is hilarious. I highly encourage you to uh, read through it if you, for some reason, want to lose a few brain cells. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, so this is the website, and I mentioned in the beginning this plugin is either paid or you can literally steal it because the developer decided, hey man, if you don't have money right now, you can uh, steal our plugin. Just give us a reason why you would want to do that, and it's yours for free. And this goes for all the plugins on the website. Let's scroll a little bit down and <laughs> starts right off the bat with apply directly to the garbage. Okay. Goes on to big shit marketing. Oh, this is my favorite, by the way, anti-utility. The first person to find a practical use for this thing gets a free cookie from the no one cares jar. Nice. This shit is haunted. Every bit, every pixel is super fucking haunted. Okay, and also the testimonials are really nice. Uh, I literally had to throw my pants away. Good. Enough of that. Let's look at the plugin. So for this plugin, there isn't really a manual or anything. There are just a bunch of uh, knobs on the surface and they do stuff. <laughs> so I have this loop here. It's a simple sequence. And now I want to mangle it, right? So let's engage dumpster fire and play around with the controls. Okay, so first of all, this is a frequency shifter, obviously, and it works in conjunction with these two here. By the way, if these are not engaged and you try to move these knobs over here, <laughs> the plugin will tell you that it is uh, inaudible pointlessness and the futility intensifies. Right. <laughs> Add a bit of reverb. And remember, we started with this. So lots of possibilities to completely fuck up your audio if you want to. And uh, yeah, this is one of the things I use all the time whenever I'm uh, stuck with a melody or uh, a sequence that sounds too vanilla and bread and butter for me. Chances are I'm going to try to do something with this plugin. Moving on to our last plugin for today. And this is part of a completely free of charge plugin suit from a developer called Michael Norris. And his plugins look a little bit, as you can see in a second here, like, uh, yeah, graphic tools from the 90s, maybe. Um, because there's only a bunch of sliders. Don't worry, we don't need all of them for today's purpose. So this one is called Spectral Drone Maker. And the beauty of it is that no matter what you feed into it, you will get a contextualized output, meaning what comes out of this will sonically match your source material hence will fit in your track every time. So I have this sequence here and I want to fill out this space around it a little bit. Let's have a listen to the dry sequence first. This is number one. This is number two. We're going to stick with number one for now. So I want to fill the frequency spectrum with a moving drone. Uh, it should be constantly evolving and I just loaded the same loop into my drone maker track here, the track where the plugin is located, and watch what happens when I play it back. Same loop, but different outcome. So the drone maker definitely works with an FFT algorithm and you have these FFT sizes down here. Right now we are on 512, which means it's relatively low in resolution, 
we can go higher up to 65 536 so it's gonna get more and more pristine the higher you get up the ladder i i do like the 512 option though because it gets crunchy right from the start but let's have a listen to the 4k option <laughs> And you can use stuff like scales. You have a built-in COM filter. You can change the fundamental and the filter bank level. You have a low bin cutoff. And a high bin cutoff. And you can hear the plugin reacts a little bit delayed because it takes some time internally for it to catch up to whatever you're feeding into it. Let's have a listen to both of them together. Again, original loop and with the drone underneath it. Let's do the same for the next loop. Again, dry loop. And with the drone. Hope you found this useful. As always, make sure to check our website, sign.de, and I'm going to see you soon. Take care.